elastic face and neck lift and ancillary aesthetic procedures. Face and neck lifting procedures have been revolutionized by a new impalpable non-absorbable elastic thread mounted on an innovative non-traumatic two-tipped needle. This elastic thread does not cut into the tissues and is transformed into a ligament that stabilizes the result. With the two-tipped Jano needle there is no need to dissect the tissues and we can act close to the defect that we want to correct. Elastic lifting of the cheeks without dissection. Two small incisions are normally made through which three suspension triangles are created. Two for the cheeks and one for the malar region. The base of the isosceles triangles that are cre created by the elastic thread is anchored to the temporal fascia. The malar vector must be short and superficial. This procedure is performed when the skin at the sideburn cannot be pinched between two fingers. Elastic Max Lift If the skin at the sideburn can be pinched between two fingers, elastic max lifting is performed. The incision crosses the sideburn and stops at the tragus. Dissection is limited to the tissues below the sideburn and extends slightly beyond the zygomatic arch. The cheeks are not dissected. Three elastic threads are implanted, which lift the tissues contained within the isosceles triangles. The base of the isosceles triangles can be extended by inserting the two-tip needle into the dissected area and causing it to emerge from the surrounding skin. In the malar region the triangle is superficial and does not extend beyond the apex of the zygoma. An isosceles triangle with a broad base can suspend drooping facial volumes more effectively. Through the same access used for max lifting, a tunnel is created above the fascia of Loray in order to perform neck lifting. All the excess skin of the dissected flap below the sideburn is marked out by means of the pitangai pincers and removed. The deep tissues of the flap are anchored to the temporal fascia. In elastic max lifting, placing the skin under traction helps to maintain the result. Result after two years. Variations are allowed. An isosceles triangle places the external canthus under traction, thereby achieving Elastic Canthopexy Elastic Lifting of the Neck From the incision used for max lifting, a pre-auricular tunnel is created and the elastic thread is anchored to the fascia of Loray. In the contralateral fascia of Loray, the elastic thread can be anchored percutaneously or through a tunnel. The first run of the elastic thread follows the design of the cervicomandibular angle. The second run may be above or below the first, at a distance of about one centimeter from it. If above, it supports the submental tissues. If below, it places the cutaneous tissues of the anterior lower neck under traction. 
no skin dissection, no tissue removal, no visible scar. Liposuction of a double chin and elastic neck lifting. Liposuction is exclusively horizontal and is performed with a 2 mm cannula through two small lateral incisions. Elastic neck lifting is performed through an 8 mm incision behind the lobe of one ear. Dissection of a few square millimeters is performed over the fascia of Loray. The elastic thread is anchored to the fascia of Loray. The Jano needle follows the design, rotating through 180 degrees. The depth of implantation varies from 1 cm along the lateral pathway to half a centimeter along the anterior pathway. The operator checks the depth by observing the depth marks. As the Jano needle travels along its pathway, the posterior tip must never come out of the tissues. Having reached the contralateral fascia of Loray, the two-tip needle anchors the elastic thread percutaneously. The two-tip needle returns along a pathway parallel to the first. With the aid of the spreader, the needle emerges from the small entry incision. The two ends of the elastic thread are placed under tension and knotted. Elastic neck lifting with safety pins. Safety pins are used when drooping of the neck skin is particularly marked. A 6761 blade is used to make five 2 mm incisions between the two parallel elastic threads, or three micro incisions, one central and two lateral. Through an 8 mm incision behind the lobes of both ears, the tissues above the fascia of Loray are dissected. One or two safety pins can be used in the median incision. The two parallel threads which have been kept out of the small incisions by the safety pins, are sutured together with a 5-0 polyester thread. Fixing the threads together prevents the skin from sliding downwards and creating a skin fold. The excess skin is used partly to cover the redefined cervical mandibular angle and partly to correct the emaciation of the neck. Slackness of the neck skin depends to a great extent on the slackness of the facial tissues. This is corrected by means of elastic max lifting, which removes the vertical tissues in excess. Elastic rhinoplasty. A long nose can be shortened and the nasolabial angle corrected by means of a 2 mm incision and the elastic thread. The elastic thread is fixed to the deep tissues of the procerus. In a few weeks the elastic thread is colonized by connective cells, making the result stable.
the nose must always be overcorrected. Elastic Canthopexy Elastic canthopexy can be performed through the incision used for max lifting or through an incision of a few millimeters at the hairline. The traction vectors are drawn. These may be different if the eyes are asymmetrical. The small incision is made and the elastic thread is anchored to the temporal fascia. Having created the base of the isosceles triangle, the Jano needle continues in the direction of the canthus. A few millimeters from the canthus, the Jano needle, which was previously superficial, anchors the elastic thread in depth to the retinaculum. The two tipped needle continues along its pathway, emerging from the small skin incision. The two ends of the elastic thread are pulled tight and knotted. Complementary procedures to canthopexy are upper blepharoplasty, frequent, and elastic lifting of the eyebrows and temporal region. Elastic lifting of the eyebrows and temporal region. A small incision is made at the hairline. The Jano needle anchors the elastic thread to the Galea capitis. The two tip needle rotates and anchors the elastic thread to one centimeter of the Galea capitis. It then becomes superficial and passes under the eyebrow. In the last tract, the needle passes immediately beneath the superficial fascia. It then penetrates more deeply, emerging from the small entry incision. If there's a lot of skin, a second elastic thread is implanted through the same incision. Elastic lifting of the eyebrows and temporal region, together with adipofilling. If the temporal fossa is visible, it is corrected by means of adipofilling during the same procedure. The adipopima creates the adipofilling suspension in a few seconds. In volumetric adipofilling, a small quantity of suspension of single living cells is often added to the small lobular fragments. As neither the cellular nor the volumetric suspension freezes, they can both be conserved at temperatures from minus 25 degrees centigrade to minus 31 degrees centigrade. Elastic lifting of the upper lip. Elastic lifting of the upper lip can be performed with two elastic threads, the effect being mainly preventive, or alternatively with three elastic threads, or with two elastic threads plus skin excision. Excision does not extend beyond the nostrils. Lifting of the upper lip with three threads.
Elastic lifting of marionette wrinkles. The traction vectors are drawn out. Access is through an 8mm incision behind the lobes of the ears. Dissection of a few square centimeters is carried out immediately above the fascia of Loray. The elastic thread is anchored to the fascia of Loray to form the base of the isosceles triangle. The triangle lifts the skin and subcutaneous tissue, redefining the jawline. The procedure is often performed together with elastic lifting of the cheeks or after elastic max and neck lifting. Elastic lifting of the upper and lower neck. These procedures correct drooping of the upper and lower neck. Two isosceles triangles are created in the upper or lower portion of the neck. As always, traction is exerted close to the defect. All the tissues inside the triangles are drawn laterally. Complementary techniques. Adipolysis of excess fat before elastic neck lifting with safety pins. Adipolysis reduces the adipocytes and does not cause fibrosis. For this reason, compression is not necessary. Intradermal adipofilling with adipose and stromal cells to rejuvenate aged skin. After 20 days, intradermal cellular adipofilling to eliminate lip wrinkles. Timed surgical mixed peeling to eliminate deep lip wrinkles. Timed surgical mixed peeling to eliminate lower lip wrinkles. Non-ablative blepharoplasty with 0.5 timed surgical mixed peeling. To access this material you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.